to satisfaction, but certainly not really celebration here in Ukraine. Gordon Carrera there on reaction in Ukraine. Well, let's now talk uh, through these issues with Dr. Mitchell Wallerstein, who's a foreign policy expert with the Chicago Council on Global Affairs. Uh, thank you for talking to the BBC. So uh, our correspondent there, Gordon Carrera, sort of outlining the mixed feelings in Ukraine about the NATO summit and the commitments made to Ukraine. What is your thoughts on that? Well, I think that uh, President Zelensky has a lot to feel good about regarding the outcome of this summit. Uh, as your reporter indicated, they got extended security guarantees. They got a commitment from the G7 for significant increases in the amount of uh, munitions and other resources that they're going to make available. And they got a long-term uh, security uh, commitment. Now, they did not get an invitation to membership, but uh, realistically, uh, because of Article 5, that was never in the cards. Because if they had been admitted or put on the track to admission, it would have made uh, created an obligation for the uh, NATO members to come to Ukraine's defense, which would have meant a direct engagement with the Russian Federation. As this NATO meeting came to a close, U.S. President Biden was uh, at pains to point out the unity uh, within the alliance and how crucial this meeting was and the strong message it sends to Russia. Uh, would you agree? Because before this uh, meeting started, there were lots of concerns about disagreements over the communique, what would be said at the end with regards to Ukraine in particular. Yes, I think this is... Uh, a actually sort of the uh, culmination of uh, Vladimir Putin's worst nightmare, because everything he was trying to accomplish, beginning with the uh, attempt to, uh, to take Kiev in a few short days, which was an utter failure, uh, the rest of it had to do with trying to fracture the alliance uh, and uh, weaken NATO. And of course, we know that the other outcome of this summit was uh, Turkey's capitulation, uh, allowing Sweden now to join NATO as well. So uh, Putin is faced with a uh, broader coalition, a uh, stronger coalition, and a more determined coalition. So uh, I think in that respect, this summit was very important. All right, Dr. Michael Wallerstein, thank you very much for your analysis on that. And of course, there's a lot more detail on the NATO summit, what was achieved, uh, analysis on the